So tell me a story about a challenge that was faced and how the learner or the school was better for having faced that challenge. I would say I'm thinking of actually about one of my neurodiverse learners. Hmm. He often struggled with emotional regulation. It would be very loud and dis and he would kind of bother everybody with his thoughts and opinions on something. So I had taken a class on some somatic yoga practices and like centering practices. And so I started to kind of do my own experiment where I would just sit next to him when he was in these states of overwhelm. And I would just start to do some things with myself. Mm. And then I would very calmly say, hey, do you want to try some breathing with me? No, I don't want to breathe. Okay, you don't have to breathe. So then I would just do these again and again on a loop. And all of a sudden, I saw him start to do them. Mm. And all of a sudden, I saw him start to calm himself down. And all of a sudden, I started. I saw him start to use it as a tool to where here's one of my neurodiverse children with autism who goes up to what's considered a typical peer who's in a state of overwhelm, mm. goes up, almost crawls like a little kitty cat next to her and says, do you want to breathe with me? And I thought, oh, like this, like I stood at the door and I, of course I cried because I cried 10 times a week, but I just cried at the fact that like, what an amazing gift mm. that he harnessed and he learned, he honed, he practiced he failed at he practiced again he was able then to share that with his friend who he was so sad to see how sad she was normally that would make him really angry but he knows he has to stay calm for her mm. so he calls up next to her and says hey do you want to breathe with me hey tell me what happened why are you so sad so all of a sudden this child with autism which people sometimes think he doesn't care about what anybody else is feeling is very in tune to how she's feeling. Mm -hmm. Is very in tune to wanting her to bring herself back down to a state of calm. And I look at that all the time, and I think, ha, you know, this is the the this is the highest case study research I can do is to watch them put into practice mm -hmm. things that maybe that they're shown, or things that we do with ourselves that they observe also, and then they share with their friends, there's nothing else in this world, I don't think, that we could do with children that is more impactful than, than that ability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the ability for them to apply it is, is just so significant. Yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.